Hey guys, how you, how's it going? Nuka here. Um, the video game drought is over. Yay! Went garage sale this morning, and the first garage sale we went to, we hit pay dirt. My husband had gone out before me. I was sleeping. He went out on his own. But when he came back home and we went out together, uh, the first video game, or the first garage sale we went to, we hit, we hit video games. Uh, this is a, an Atari 5200, and as you can see, it comes with the controller, and what, what the hell is this? I don't remember what they're called anymore. I don't remember what that's called anymore. Anyway, it goes to the TV, you know, you plug the Atari into it, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> and this, the paddle thingy. I see, I didn't have a 5200, I had a 2600, and it didn't have this, this, this telephone pad-like thing. Um, so I'm not real familiar with that. I had a 2600. And it was the slim model they came out with. I guess you'd call it the slim model. As you can see, it needs to be cleaned up. It's got some wear on it, but it's not in too bad condition. It just needs to be cleaned up real good. Um, he wanted 15 for it. That is not what I paid. I bundled some stuff together. You'll see that in real soon, actually. And the power brick. And it came with Quicks, Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Centipede. So, yep, sorry for 5200, pretty cool. Haven't found one of those in a while either. So the second video game item we saw was this APF TV Fun. It is uh, from 1976. Uh, it's Pong. I think it's got Pong and Tennis or something like that. I don't know. It says something like that in the box. I have a lap full of cat right now. so The box is in pretty good condition, but I mean, it shows its age, as you can see, like on the corners and stuff. And there's, he had tape holding the bottom of it together. Styrofoam is in good condition. The console is in good condition. Um, we'll hook it up see if it works. Uh, it runs off batteries unless you want to spend the money to to buy, at that time anyway, to buy the, the, uh, you know, the power adapter. So yeah, it takes, uh, six C batteries, I think it is. So this is pretty cool. Uh, he did not have a price in this. I asked him how much he wanted, he said five dollars. Uh, but, but then again, I did not pay five dollars. You'll see with the next item how much I, we actually spent at this garage sale for the video games. This was actually the first system I saw at the garage sale. Um, as you can see, it's a Dreamcast in the box. The guy wanted $3 for it, as is, but he says it works and there's nothing wrong with it. I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, the box is in great condition. Um, it came with... So, what is this? I think, what, memory card, I guess it's called. And the controller. And, of course, the Dreamcast. And it's got the... Power cord, power cord, RCAs, and there's an extension in here for the control for the controller. Um, and it has a game in it, Royale Casino, whatever. I don't care. It's whatever. He said his mother was playing it, so you know it's a little bonus game, I guess. It's not not a great game, but who cares? Um, this is the first. Dreamcast I've gotten in the wild, like wow, like at a garage sale or a yard sale or something. Uh, the, I think the other one I've, the one I currently have, came from this replay, I believe it was. But I'm really, this is really cool to have this. I'm excited about it. Um, you know, if this doesn't work, I've got the other Dreamcast that works, so this isn't a big problem. You know, three bucks for a box, eh, not too bad, but. What I actually paid for every all the video game stuff you've seen all came from a garage sale. And I actually ended up paying I kinda of bundled it together. The Dreamcast, the Pong game, the Atari with the games and all the hookups. I kinda of bundled it together and I got it all for fifteen bucks. I said, Would you take fifteen for all the video game stuff? And he said, Yeah. So I was I was pretty excited about that. Um he said he didn't have any games for, for the Dreamcast, just the one that was in here. So I was excited. I asked him if he had any other video games. He said he had the original Sega somewhere, and but he couldn't find it because he was going to sell that too, but he couldn't find it. 
So I might have to uh, keep an eye on that particular house for sales from now on. Because if he finds it and puts it out, of course I want it. At the, this garage sale that we got these from, I saw they had this original Nintendo, which by the time I got there, they are. She, the lady said she sold it five minutes before I got there, which would figure. That's just the way it goes. Anytime you find anything um, Nintendo around here, it's either gone or crazy prices, or they don't have anything. Um, so this was Xbox True Crime New York City. This is the collector's edition of the Steelbook. It's in really good condition. Um, Halo Combat Evolved for the Xbox. Mech Assault for the Xbox. And Grand Theft Auto. Uh, this has got Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Vice City in it. And it is the Xbox collection. So it's in really good collection. Can I, uh, da, da, it's in really good condition too. So I paid $10 for these four. I probably overpaid, but whatever. At another garage sale, we picked this up for a buck. Guy had it in a box of wires, and my husband saw it. It is Nintendo branded. It's for, what, GameCube or Wii, I'm supposing. So, yeah. The buck, not too bad. It's in pretty good shape. These are circular. They haven't been stepped on, which is amazing. Usually you find these in, like, the PS2 ones they've been stepped on. So, that's cool. It's in good shape. For a buck, not bad. Um, my husband went out before me this morning. He got up at like 7.30 and I was still asleep. Um, he went out, came home, and he came home with these Legos. I'm not sure exactly how many pounds that is. I'm thinking about three pounds of Legos. And he paid $20 for it. It's full over the top. I mean, you can see. It was this tub and a bag, like a... Walmart bag, a grocery bag, I guess you'd say. Plastic ones of Legos. These were in there too. These are Mega Blocks. Um, as you can see, this was on the top and they had this setting in the sun, he said. And it wasn't even that hot today. So it melted. It kind of was, was cool though because when I opened it up, it was like this on top of the, you know, on top. And it, you could see where it like melted over the bricks, the other bricks underneath it. But that's cool though because mega bricks, you know, they're not gonna, they're not. I'm looking, not looking for mega bricks, mega blocks. I guess they're called mega blocks, and um, they're not as good quality as Lego, and they kind of protected the Legos that were underneath it. So that's cool. Whatever, not a problem. I think it's well worth twenty bucks. You can see the kid wrote on some of these. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to say. PS3 maybe. I've seen, the, I've gone through a little bit of it, and there's like a lot of blocks. One says GTA 5, he wrote on there, and one says um, PS4, PS2, and then there's one that says Sony. Um, evidently, he's transitioning, the kid was transitioning from Lego to gaming. Too bad there wasn't any games at the sale. So, this is a box of Mega Blocks, and that is a box of Duplo bo Blocks. Um, we bought both of these tubs came together for ten dollars. They wanted fifteen, talked them down to ten. They were mixed up. I've gone through them and kind of sorted what's what. The Mega Box turned out to be pretty cool because we got these, and that is two Spider Man and Thor and Wolverine. It's pretty cool. You can sell those, I'm sure. And it came with a little web. I just put the little guys on the pegs of the webs or the the corners of the web. Came with, this was in there too. I don't know what the hell it is. It just won't fit in the box. As you can see, the the lid's kind of not exactly. It won't it won't stay on. It won't clasp. This one won't clasp either. This is all Lego Duplos. And the oh sorry, these are all the figures that came in this box. There's a lot of figures. So I should be able to sell all those. These guys. There's this one, and then there's Boba Fett as well. They're pretty big. They, they're they tall. They evidently, uh, the back of them says, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. It says 1997 Tiger Electronics. And they make noise. At least, I think the batteries on this one were dead. Let me see. Yeah, that one's dead. But um, it's a Stormtrooper and Boba Fett. And I guess it's some kind of alarm and game. See, um, let's see. They come with these little guns. See, they make noise. Um, there's, there's another gun that came with Boba Fett. 
Boba Fett actually makes noise. So I'm not exactly sure what they were, but or what they are. But my husband liked them and picked them up. Um, they say you can see the tag. It says eight for two. Talked them down to six, so we got these for six. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with them, but I always like Boba Fett. Boba Fett's pretty cool, and my husband really likes Boba Fett. So, yep, that's what we're, that's these Stormtrooper and Boba Fett and guns for six dollars. This is a glass um, Pyrex kitchen container, I guess you'd call it, with the glass lid, which I really really like because. Then I had to use the stuff my grandma, that's my grandmother's, I can keep that for good. Because, you know, it was grandma's. It's got a terrible on the side, it's pretty ugly. But, it'll be good for storing leftovers and such, and I got this. I bundled this with the Polaroid camera for $3. These were a set of four. They're Pyrex, in really good condition. Guy wanted 20 for them, I talked him down to 15. That's yellow, I don't know if you can tell, you can't, it doesn't look like you can tell very well in my cam, in my phone. But yeah, and they're a set. They all they like fit into each other. I really like them. Uh, well, I'll be using these in the kitchen. I'm not reselling this or anything like that. We have this bowl. It was my grandmother's, but it's more worn than that one is. But that's okay because I'll use this and the one that my grandmother, you know, was my grandmother's has sentimental value. So I'll be using this one instead of grandma's. So yeah, this was 15 at a different garage sale. All these, all four, 15 for the set. I really like them. I think they're awesome. I'm happy to have them. And lastly, this I bought with the Pyrex dish with the lid. Um, the lady had three bucks on this. The guy, the lady, whatever, it was a couple at the same garage sale. Um, it was marked three, and the dish was marked a dollar, and I just asked her if she'd do three for both, and she said yes. So, yeah, it's a really good shape. It is a cool cam by Polaroid. Uh, Polaroids go for pretty good money on eBay. So that's why we picked it up. And this, it looks like they never used the strap. I don't know if the whole thing, oh, let's get here. I don't know if the whole thing was never used, but it's uh, in really good shape. So that'll make me a little bit of cash to put back into the garage sale funds for games and stuff. So anyway, that's my pickups for what is today? Today is Saturday, uh, May 23rd, I believe. So, please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.